Dr. Phillips and Patricia Frost pledged $35 million in 2011 to name the museum after its new home, which became the Phillips and Patricia Frost Museum of Science. I started my visit at the top of the aquarium and slowly made my way down. My visit was mainly focused on the aquarium and research around the Florida coast and how I can help in this sense. The incredible view and tanks representing the Caribbean from the top and the ocean vortex, the marine deserts, and which has the practicality to see from the top and the bottom. What an amazing sensation! And holds the shark going from my head. That was amazing. Then comes the visit of the Lord Barrier Rift Tank, which is an aquarium of 12,000 gallons in which I can see to the embassy. I was like a kid. That is big and large with a technique quite close to the private aquariums, with lighting provided by my spec, flow made by Habis and Pantari. Fantastic. Then we went to see the Zircor Lab, where they bred Acropora cervicans and the spices of Montastria. The Frost Museum is very involved in conservation. But the highlight of the show, even in the Boreal Reef, was impressive. This reef project created by water depression farm specimen bred from all American coral farm, like worldwide corals and biota, to name the most famous. 100% of these tanks start from fries, a few inches. What's a beauty? My friend Richard from Reef.com and Aficionados was very proud to show me this aquarium. Can you imagine? All from fry. Thank you for having watched until the end. Don't miss the next video on the Florida tour. See you on the next episode.